Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. We got a special guest with us this week. The detective. You Let's damn roll. Right. And the detective has a story for us today. What's up, detective? Why don't you want to drop it on us? Let's hear what's, what's going on. So I've been really into reading biographies lately. And I came across this very obscure one about this guy named Daniel K. Ludwig. Never heard of him. Yeah, me neither. He's not the Twitch Ludwig, is he? Of course not. He's <laughs> not the Beethoven Ludwig? Why would you say such a thing? Do you know who that is? Be- Ludwig yes, on Beethoven? Yes, I've heard of him. Do you? Oh, he's a freaking weeb. All right, no, so, keep going. Keep finish your story. Sorry. So, th- th- this guy, he was one of the shipping magnates, and one of his competitors was uh, this this guy named Aristotle Onassis. And Okay. Maybe you've heard of Aristotle Nassim. Yeah, yeah, in case yeah, yeah, yeah. you haven't, he actually he, he married um, Jackie Kennedy. Yes, he did. Exactly. Okay. Oh yeah, <laughs> Onassis Kennedy. I heard yeah. of her. Yes. So back to Daniel, known as DK. This guy, one of the richest guys oh. in the world, he paid a PR firm to keep his name at the papers. Who does that? To keep him out of the papers. Exactly. Okay. This guy wanted to remain obscure. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And his neighbors didn't even know who he was. Fair. Right? And so one interesting thing was he actually stored vials of his blood so that after his death, in the in the instance that a woman that he was with before the woman that was his wife when he died. In case that woman's daughter tried to claim his estate, lawyers could actually test his blood and check to see if there he was, was so caught up on a paternity connection. test that he cryogenically yes. froze his blood yes. to save hey. his estate. Yes, yo, that that this money, man had the foresight. Hey, yo, that money go to my lineage and my lineage only. I feel that. I fuck with yeah. that. Honestly, I do. And guess what? She actually tried to sue to claim. Oh my lord! Money. And then they were just like, "Blood out! Here's Dad's blood, B." Exactly. Yep. And then she didn't get the money. Exactly. They made her, but he knew. They made he her knew. drink it, dude. He knew. And this yo, and as, and as far as paying money to keep your name out of the papers and to keep the media off of you, I respect that too. And most people who are rich and famous say that they love the rich part, but the fame sucks. Yeah, because that's when you start getting like death threats. Well, you can't even go to the goddamn convenience store to get a Snickers exactly. bar if you're hungry. Exactly. <laughs> like you, you never see like uh, yeah, like Bruce Willis ain't going out to the convenience store to no, get a Snickers. And it's like you gotta try because it's like people either gonna try to rob you, people are gonna try to kidnap you, people are gonna try to ask you for money people are going to approach you and antagonize try to, you to get you to hit them yeah, whatever yeah yeah so then you now you have to get security and security costs a lot of money yeah so i i, I you hey, gotta look. pay three dudes four thousand dollars to go to 7-eleven to get a slushy yeah exactly <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh nasty oh good oh, na- <laughs> good old oh nasty oh, oh nasty oh, wasn't like a racist or nothing was he Did he have anything like that Do you no like, not that i know uh, was he was not that i know of not that you know of no yeah no. but, but is he d- trans <laughs> no, 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 not that that matters. No, no. Or he, married, he married Jackie Kennedy. Yeah, yeah. So here, here's know. a funny little you story. So you know how you have these billionaires that have their yachts and their jets. Yeah. Onassis, he had this boat called the Christina. The, on this boat, he he courted just like the elite of the elite, and the 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 contrast between him and Daniel K. Ludwig was that Daniel just saw it as like, hey. This boat is to move oil. That's it. When they asked him, hey, how come your boat doesn't have a, a piano? He's like, well, a piano can't hold oil. Why would I have a, a, <laughs> fair, a piano there? Fair, fair. So just show the some of the contrast, but it, it, it's just insane. You know, just the people that exist throughout history that you like don't even know about. Just these insane stories. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I bet if you would align that piano properly, it could have held some oil, though. Nah, bro. It's, it, it messed <laughs> no. up the acoustics. You're gonna mess up oh, yeah. damn good piano. Yeah, I don't know, man. Piano. Like, would you, would you, would you freeze your blood? For any would reason? I freeze my blood? I don't have any reason to freeze my blood. What if you wanted to like clone myself in the future? Is well, that what, what you're if you like said like, hey, what, what if I get in a bad accident and I need blood? What is, can you get my pints out? 
my pint. <laughs> my own pint. They have enough blood I in the world, uh, Jonas. From the doctors? <laughs> yeah. Oh. There's yeah. enough blood. I won't freeze my blood, but I what I do plan to do is I I, I want to have freeze your eggs. No. <laughs> Okay, keep going. I here's what I will here's what I will do. I, I, my plan is already to put uh, money aside to have my ashes shot out into outer what space. What the hell? In outer yes. space? <laughs> yes. Okay, explain to me why you want your ashes shot into outer space. What is that going to do? I want to be out there among the stars. How about that? Oh, Fair that's enough. nice. Hey, yo, look, that's all the answer you, you need. know what I kind of want is I kind of want to get my ashes and then be put into like a big old pot and like grow a tree in it. Okay. And okay. Like, yeah. And then be like, hey, that's the, that's the Jonas tree. Like, <laughs> like is, right. yeah, just get like a 12 inch pot, fill it up with some dirt, mix the ashes in, plant a whatever. I'll keep Blueberry that. tree. Carve I'll it in. Put a sign. I'll yeah. keep that in mind when you die before me. Yeah. Um, or I when you kill me in my sleep. Oh. You'll be like, I, I did that just so I can put it in a tree. I'll just put your, your cadaver in a pot. <laughs> and the plot thickens. <laughs> like, <laughs> where does his head go? It's in the bottom of the pot. Yeah. You always said he wanted it. <laughs> go to episode 400 on the podcast. Right. He said it was fine. Honestly, I've never had any like idea of like something I want done special with my ashes. I guess the only thing I could say is like, I don't want my funeral to be something sad. Sad. I want it to be a party. Yeah, I me too. To come together. I want there to be drinks. Yes. And, and like, I open want, bar. Yep. All the drugs. Exactly. I didn't do the drugs during life. You can do them when I'm dead. See, <laughs> you the, the the cremation is cheaper. Spend all the money you would have spent on my that casket part. on a goddamn open yeah. bar. Yeah. You come in the door and you ain't drinking. You gotta go. <laughs> if you want to take it up, I don't a care notch. if you're a recovering alcoholic. <laughs> yeah. If you want to take it up a notch. Hire security or at least have leave money so that security gets hired to kick out anyone who is either crying or just Ooh. bringing down the mood. Yeah. Whoever, a pile of cocaine. I, I Just for whoever wants it. <laughs> there you go. Security to guard the cocaine. No, no, no. They, they, you got to take the cocaine when you walk in. You got to take cocaine when you walk in. <laughs> Yo, this is becoming like a non-consensual <laughs> funeral. You walk in, they Real pin quick. you down and feed you. This drugs. dude is like, you can't, you can't express emotion. <laughs> you have to do drugs. <laughs> it's the only way to get by when I die, yo. Everyone's gonna be so sad. Basically, you have to be conservative when you walk through. <laughs> the <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh uh, no, I don't know, man. Like. But here's the thing: the older you get, the less motherfuckers gonna be at your funeral anyway. No, oh, yeah, yeah. Like I'm somebody's really. gonna be like, "Oh," and like, like I don't live in the state where most of the people I know are. So like, if I died, it would probably take like months before most of them found out I was dead. Yeah, be before they even gone. found the body, right? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, right. Exactly. Like if the guy didn't just bury me in the woods, you know, outlive uh, everyone. What? <laughs> so you're gonna outlive everyone? Yeah. Maybe. So I don't know, man. But I, I would love to have a funeral party. Yeah, funeral party is the way to go. I can already imagine how you're going to set yours up. All right, here's a table for the alcohol. Here's a table for the cocaine. Exactly. All right. Explain Sex robot. Lines are ready. Give me give me an idea of what your, your space funeral looks like. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to chuckle there. I really want to show you the most up, utmost respect for your face, your space funeral. But explain to me. <laughs> the funeral's not going to be in space. He's just going to no, be no, no. Space. it's a space theme funeral. I'm sure there's going to be like, <laughs> I'm sure there's going to be like, I don't know. Freaking Mogwais or something. I don't know. There's gonna be a there's gonna be a funeral, open bar and everything. You know the whole the whole little hey, who wants to Captain say Kirk. say words, whatever, yada yada. Captain Kirk does the eulogy. There you go. And <laughs> then after a while, then a few days later, they're gonna shoot my ashes up into outer space along with other people's ashes in a in a pod shaped like a lightsaber. There you go. No. Oh, <laughs> okay. There so, will not be cocaine no. at my funeral. Is this is this a service you can actually buy? Though? Yeah, there's a company that does this. Okay. There's I'm a company, at, so they have different tiers. You can either shoot it into, uh, I think it's the moon, it's at what? orbit, Is this and Elon outer Musk? space. Sounds like an Elon Musk kind of company. No, it's called a. Uh, Where's the what third place it could send you? What's that? To the moon, to the Mars, or what? Yeah, like they charge different for, the, you know, the further you're out. How the, the hell are they getting anything to Mars? We ain't even been to Mars. Well, you know, it's, it's outer little... space. And, and then obviously this is, uh, you know, a shot in the. In the literal dark but let's just say hypothetically if aliens find my uh my ashes they're gonna reconstruct your ass 
I mean, are you trying to get reconstructed by extraterrestrial? I like mean, I said, a shot in the dark. Hey, yo, my man trying to get reconstructed. <laughs> that would be cool. I mean, yeah, I mean, admit. I would let a alien rebuild me and then do have their way with me. Mm. In the off chance it happens. Some yeah. of that alien ussy. <laughs> alien ussy. Yeah. A lussy. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, so. I don't know. Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com, subscribe, and listen uh, for Jonas. TNT and the detective. Uh, We're out.